11 Alive News at 5 p.m. starts now. First at five in the last few hours, we received the 911 calls from a deadly kidnapping overnight that began in Fayette County and ended in Clayton. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Jennifer Bellamy and I'm Faith Jesse. And so these calls are giving us more insight into what happened as 19 year old Kalia Jones was kidnapped from the restaurant she worked at before Clayton County police say her ex boyfriend Cameron Hopkins shot and killed her. Karis Belger has been following this story all day. So Karis, this isn't the first time that Hopkins has been accused of kidnapping Jones. It's not according to court records. Cameron Hopkins was arrested for kidnapping Jones exactly one year ago. The same thing he's accused of doing late last night and the 911 calls some from family others from coworkers paint a chilling picture of what took place. He tried to take her. In this 911 call, a woman who says she's the aunt of Kalia Jones can be heard begging for help for the 19-year-old. The incident started at this wing stop on North Glen Street in Fayetteville. I need a police at uh, wing stop in Fayetteville. Don't get in the car, Kalia. She's not in the car. Wing stop in Fayetteville? Yes, please. This is an emergency. Don't be in the car. What's going on there? In the background, another woman can be heard telling Jones not to get inside of a vehicle. He's making her get in the car. Like he's he making, he making her get in his car. According to Clayton County Police, 20 year old Cameron Hopkins held Jones at gunpoint and forced her to leave the wing stop where she worked in his red Camaro. In Clayton County arrest warrants, investigators claim Hopkins led police on a chase down McDonough Road in Clayton County before officers used a pit maneuver to stop the vehicle here in front of Lovejoy High School. Fayetteville police say at one point Hopkins fired his gun multiple times inside the car, shooting and killing Jones while also firing at officers. Authorities say Fayette County deputies used a substance similar to tear gas to make Hopkins get out of the car. Hopkins, who is now charged with murder, claimed Jones shot herself, according to warrants. Police and court records indicate Hopkins was arrested one year ago and charged with forcing Jones into his car at gunpoint in a Walmart parking lot in Lovejoy. He was released from jail on bond months later. I did speak briefly with the family of Kalia Jones. They are asking for privacy at this moment. Coming up at six, I'll have more on those dramatic number one calls and of course the incident itself. Karis, thank you so much for bringing us that update. Right now, you can download the 11 Alive News app by scanning that QR code you see right there on your screen. You can find more information about this investigation there.